BBL Drizzy, BBL Drizzy. Or what? What are you gonna do about it? If I yell or scream, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I was kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> going on? It's about Mrs. Susan, the lady helping my pregnant fiance Kaylee and me around the house. About a week ago, she disappeared. Anything unusual about her behavior before she vanished? Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. Can you look into it, detective? No, I'll start an investigation right away. What's he doing with his hands? Please, give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried. My name is Burrito. I play horror games and I hate puzzles, but I don't think this is going to be a game with a bunch of puzzles. This looks very realistic, very photorealistic, very hyper realistic. I'm going to start using that in my titles since I see all the other horror gamers use that in their titles too. Dear God, look at this. It's like a tornado out there. It's like a hurricane. Detective Wyatt confronts a chilling mystery as he investigates a housemaid's disappearance. We have to unearth sinister secrets as we navigate through a haunted house where every shadow hides a lurking terror. This is actually kind of a big house. Look at that. What's in here? Nothing in here. Had to take off the What was that? Is that the dog? Hold on. No, she's still good. Oh! What the fuck? It sounds like it's getting closer. Oh no, it sounds like it's coming over here. How do I turn on the lights? Why is it so dark in here? Oh, flashlight, okay. Alright, let's go here. Let's figure this out. It's the bathroom. Our objective is to find the missing housemaid, who also probably happens to be the demonic ghost lady on the cover of this game. Cover art. Flashing lights. What is this? What is that? That's not a scary face, bro. It's not scary at all. Dude. It's freaking sick, dude. Oh my god. Oh, you guys are expecting. All right, one. I feel like I'm about to uh, meet the demon or ghost or whoever it is. Let's just close that so nobody can sneak up on me. Uh, who's moaning? Is it over here? Sounds like it's in this wall. Oh shoot. I have to face what I signed up for? What am I signed up for? No fucking way. If what? I have to chase down a password for another two hours again, I'm out. Oh my god, how do I... Turn off this sound. You got your password for the hundredth time. I've scattered your toy figures around the house, labeled the boxes with your login and password. Why is this so convoluted? Is there a way to turn off the, the ringing? What the hell? <laughs> Shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, three is cat. Oh, here, here's one. Find all these Funko Pops. Shark Ski is six. Okay, here is chicken. Chicken is eight. What's this one? This one is 
Oh, cool ski. That's one. Cool ski is one. Here we got one right here. Rabbit is two. Why would you put pentagrams on all of these? All right. Ah, here we go. Found one. Robot is four. Here we go. We have uh, Teddy is seven. One over here. Clown is five. So now we just need fish! Now we just need fish and cow. Okay. Fish is zero. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to guess. Oh, no, the cow's right there. Is that nine? Okay. Password is zero seven four one five. Oh my God, you've been calling me forever. Babe, is Kaylee home? Have you fixed her cam yet? I was thinking we could have a little, you know, hour time while she's away. I'm oh, married. Hey, Bella. Yeah. Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? Seriously? You sound a bit off, babe. Is everything okay? I was really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. I'm just a bit tired. You know, it's been a hectic day. Tired, huh? It's with her lips. Sure? You sound like something's up. I was really hoping to come over. What's the deal? Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susan is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Look, it's just not a good night and I need to take it easy. Can we catch up some other time? Sure, but you're not fooling me. Why are you being so distant? We had plans and now you're backing out. Bill, it's not the right time. I promise we'll make up for it. I need to go, babe. I catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. Who's Kaylee? My pregnant fiance, Kaylee. Giggle? How much does the average cow weigh? I guess not. That doesn't work. Switch cameras, previous buttons. Use night vision with the night vision button. What's the night vision button? Oh, she's behind me. Kitchen. How do I turn on the night vision? Oh, N. Okay, that, I guess that makes sense. All right. All conditions normal. Except the dog. The dog's barking. Why is the dog barking? Oh, he's in the laundry room. Don't worry, doggo. I'm here. Hey, what's up, girl? Oh! You can use the internet, internet browser on the computer to search for clues. Uh, crawler? Remembering Miss Susan Crawler, a tragic loss sparks a community reflection on mental health. 80-year-old Miss Susan Crawler, a beloved member of the community, had taken her own life by hanging herself from a tree in her backyard. All right, check the cameras, put the night vision on. Normal in the living room. Wait a minute. The dog is still there. So then who's the dog in the in the larger room? What's that sound? Sounds wet. Like there's squelching. Oh my god, sounds like somebody's... Oh boy. Oh! Is it in here? No! We're gonna need a lot more to clean up. We should leave. From now on, microphone will detect every noise you make and you can start communicating with a paranormal identity. What? What are you-
you gonna do about it? If I yell or scream, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I was kidding! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! No! <laughs> so now I gotta be a little quiet. There are a set of commands here. Can you help me? Is anyone here? Can you help me? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Show yourself. Colton, it's me again. Listen, just stay quiet for a sec, okay? I need to tell you something. So, I did some digging online, and guess what? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago. Three years to be exact. Isn't this crazy? I mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why did you see in her this whole fucking time? Something is not right here. Why did like you see someone wanted her? to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something, unless this is some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. From hey, let's spend some time together. Should I hear someone walking by me? What happens if we keep slamming the door? I make enough noise. Hey. Hey, can you hear me? Ghost lady, can you hear me? Here's Johnny. Hello, Miss Susan. I've been calling you, trying to reach you to talk to you about your extended car warranty. Oh, you can close doors too. She's trying to close that door. And she's looking right at me. In that contraption, where night after night, era, ere we slipped into our sleep, our gazes intertwined, molding our cherished TV series, just you and me, and our Blashka. Just downstairs. Fatality. Fatality. She gave me that uh, headbanger. Okay. Oh, the TV. Go to the room. Go to the room with the TV. Master bedroom. piece of torn picture. Gotcha. So our objective is to collect and finish that picture that's on the desktop. Right here. Oops. Uh, 
I also be able to rotate. Okay. I'm actually really bad at puzzles. So, maybe like that. Alright. Maybe we can find our next clue on canvas. Parking again. <coughs> ah, bigger. Gotcha. So that's basically how we're doing this. At this point, I'm not even really a detective. I'm just following the dog. so hard not to scream. I thought she would have gotten me for sure. Alright, back to the computer. So I think the way this works is we just have to keep coming back to the computer, find the dog barking again, keep finding more clues. Yeah, I think that's what it is because the dog stayed in that diaper or in the baby room until I got on the computer. Maybe it's like her husband or something. So I think we're pretty safe whenever I'm talking here on the computer. So I can talk loudly, but I'm trying not to talk too loudly when I'm not at the computer. Otherwise she gets me and we're not really gonna progress too far. Ah, got the dog. All right, so found the dog. Gonna go get the picture.
That's the bathroom. Sounds like it's right here. She like killed herself because her husband died, and it's really sad. Colton, it's like Colton, but with an H. A hero sheriff abruptly wakened by the sound of a piercing fire alarm. Her neighbor's house now consumed by an inferno that threatened to devour everything in its path. The family trapped inside. Without hesitation, he rushed to the scene. One by one, he carefully lowered them, ensuring their escape. Yeah, so we saved people. Nice. Okay. Come on. She's she's watching me. While I do my, my thing here. She said, don't disturb me. BBL Drizzy BBL Drizzy BBL Drizzy BBL Drizzy No, she doesn't want to do anything while I'm on the computer. The computer is safe. Wait, where'd the dog go? Oh, someone's at the front door. Get right by her. Well, I'll be done. What's going on here? Nothing. <gasps> Detective Wyatt just conducting an investigation. Detective, what you say. You to this house, making all this Can you not see the ghost behind me? Get a moment's peace. There's a ghost right behind me. Sheriff, I'm here on behalf of the new residents who requested an investigation into the disappearance of Mrs. Susan. Where is she? The former occupant of this house. Oh, this she used to live here. She passed away three years Why ago. Why would anyone be poking around her old place now? That's what they hired me for. Sometimes these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned. It's like and I'm getting killed constantly closure. in front of this guy. Closure, huh? Well, I reckon that's understandable. But what's with all the noise? What noise? Uh, yes, I'm afraid my investigation can get a bit noisy at times. Just trying to leave no stone unturned, you know? I suppose I understand. But if you don't mind me asking, why now? Yeah, why now? And there's a storm outside, too. It's my duty to follow up on any leads. But right now, my leads point me to this house. Well, all right. I'll leave you to it, Detective. But try to keep it down, will you? Of course! <laughs> I will definitely keep it down. The entire time, I'll keep it down. Oh, that was Holton.
Will she step here in the light? I, I want to see if she'll come here in the light. Hey, Miss Susan. Ghost of Miss Susan. Oh! She will come out here, actually. Oh, my bad. Damn, I, I'm, I'm really bad at puzzles. Now I have to find... Some circles? Got the last one. Here we, we go. I'm an electrician. Yeah. Show yourself. Oh my god, she can control weather. Are you here? Are you friendly? Go away. Do something. Wyatt, where are you? Okay, this fucking time, I won't let anyone escape. I'm freaking shooting the shit out of him, dude. After all this, I'm gonna pin all the blame. No more running. Let's get this. How many times I gotta shoot you, bro? Come on. Should have just stayed out of this. Now, you're gonna burn. Bro, how many times I gotta shoot you, dude? Oh, there's something down here. That guy was definitely an entity or something. Oh, what is this? In a stunning revelation, Detective Wyatt unraveled the dark truth behind the tragic deaths of Miss Susan and her husband. The culprit was none other than the revered Sheriff Robert Holton. A man of authority and respect in the community, jealousy had consumed him when Miss Susan chose him, oh, chose over another over him, leading him to commit a heinous act of vengeance. Well, that's not very Mr. Brightside of him. Holton's manipulation of the local news painted him as a hero, disguising his own sinister deeds. He orchestrated the fire that engulfed. Oh my God! He orchestrated the fire that engulfed Miss Susan's home while her family sat down to supper ruthlessly ending their lives, but it wasn't enough. He went further, concocting a false narrative of heroism to cover his tracks. Miss Susan, far from taking her own life as the fabricated report suggested, was found to have been pregnant when the coroner examined her body. The extent of Sheriff Holton's depravity knew no bounds. So that guy wasn't a ghost or anything. How did he survive all those gunshot wounds? I shot the guy like 20 times. 